What is up, kids? Anyway, here's the deal. We have some running around to do. Uh, we're in the El Camino. By that, I mean the ridge line. Oh, I gotta get something. So anyway, we're in the ridge line. We're going to be picking up something for creepy. And I just think I broke my finger. I hit it on the door. Anyway, we're gonna be picking up some something for creepy. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of running around. I'm gonna bring you around for that. Um, anyway, let's get after it. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. This wasn't the plan, but this is the plan now. It's the plan. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get out of this thing. <laughs> I got some good stuff over there. Hold on a minute. Check it out. There's some geese up there honking. Can you hear them? Yeah. You ever realize you're parked in the wrong spot? But it's too late because you're in it now. Okay, cool. So I'm not gonna show you where I'm at, but I picked up some uh, metal patch panels right there pretty excited about it i picked up a little bit thicker stuff because you know let's face it model laser metal so let's get after it it was at this point that he realized he needs a proper shop truck yeah that's a blanket for that lord knows you can't put anything in the back of a truck i don't want to hear it i had truck norris i know You might have to find Truck Norris 2.0. Anyway, on to the next. Okay, so what we did, we got sheet metal, we saw that. Then uh foreman had me pick up an envelope. Said it was some money in it, because we bought a new washer and dryer. And um <laughs> uh we got a May tag here. He goes, Don't tell her how much is in it. I was like, eh, I'm just gonna keep it anyway. No matter how much is in it. Let's go to Harbor Freight, kids. <laughs> I hope you guys didn't think I was kidding. <laughs> Parking lot sale. It's extended. If you don't know that, well, it's, I don't know what to tell you. It's, let's go get some stuff we don't need or whatever or something. I don't know. Let's do this. All right, kids, we picked up just a couple things. Made sure I renewed my Inside Track Club. It was coming due. I didn't want that. I don't want to miss out on that stuff. Anyway, um, just a few things. We just got a few things just because it, um, I don't know, I went in there. That's all. So let's go home and whatever we're going to do. No, kids, I was going to put the hot rods away. Well, that one's already where it's going to be. It's going to be 70 today. So. I'm going to have to take them out one more time. See if I can groove up the other side of Clyde's tire. <laughs> there. Anyway, so we'll bring you along for that if we do it. Other than that, we got to get this ready. For winter, we got some more doing that. Stick around. All right, kids, we're going to do some work. Yeah. Come on. I know, I know. We did it. It was like tea party. Anyway, we're going to do some stuff. Mm. So, told you about the sheet metal, right? Because we're going to be working on 
patch panels. So what I did was I made sure to get some more cutoff wheels because, you know, it's important. Got some cold leather gloves for in here. Got some clampage. It's not Jed Clampet, but it's clampage. And I got some tape because, you know, I can mark off the... All right, let's do the, let's just do the thing. Three quarter. We're going to take this off. Remember why we take this off? It doesn't work. That's right. But what we're going to do, I talked to Jason at um, Pete and Jake's. And he gave me a suggestion on something I could try. And I thought, hey, what the heck? So I'm going to do that. Look, Mom. No, look. Is that a... No, it's no hands. Man. Terrible at this. You know what you think. Huh. Anyway, so I'm going to take these off. And then uh, I'll bring it back in. Take a rest. All right, I know the seam might, might be going backwards, and we're going backwards a little bit, but that's what the mock ups are for, man. I mean, we know it's not going to work. We learned that the other day, whatever day that was, right? But I want to talk about this part right here. Very simple piece, right? Got some U bolts and a. This is very heavy duty, and I'm glad that Pete and Jake sent us with. It's um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome for us. So, I'm going to put this over here, and then, let's see if this works. It's terrible. Might have to get some different wheels. Not a big deal. So, what we're gonna do. Cool. Uh, what Jason actually suggested to me is that we take some of these out uh, because we're not gonna be able to use this. We're just, you know, it's gonna be a mock up kind of deal. Anyway, take some of these off, put this back under there, and kind of see where, uh, where our ride height's gonna be. So that's going to be what we're going to do. So I'm going to get uh, whatever I need right here and we're going to do the stuff. Boop. I said, all right, I guessed. And I was right. <laughs> the half inch right here. Now we're going to be nice and deliberate about this because there's pressure under here, right? See that? All right. So we're gonna do. We're gonna turn that out. See in a second. Now I will say that there's pressure on here, right? So you're gonna have to find something to hold those, hold that nub in place, or something to plant these springs together. Because there's pressure on it right now. See that? Pressure. On the pressure. Sorry, I'll never do that again. What he said to do was just set these aside. And he thought that maybe going under there might do it. 
we can kind of see where we're going to be. Make sense? No? Cool. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get this back, and I'm just going to, you know, shove her up. Maybe. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this back in, we'll see what it looks like. This chair is terrible. I can see why it's so eager to give it to me. All right, now I'm going to do that. All right, all I did was I just got it so it won't come out of there. Because I'm really, I mean, you know, this is like I said, smock up. So we put that in there, it's going to do with whatever it's going to do. So let's move these. That's a lot of spring right there, boy. Look at that. Put that over here. Then I'm going to roll this back this direction like that because why not, right? Okay, now we're going to move these down like that and like that. Now you can kind of see a little bit better where we're going to be. Oh yeah, baby, that looks good. You guys see that? I mean, we came way down. Well, of course. Let's get a better look. Better look. Yeah, so, man. It's much better. Oh, you guys haven't seen it. Okay. You got tools making noise over here, huh? But you see how much it brought it down. Still too high up. It's way better. Now, you know, we'd be down even further because that spring isn't compressed together. But that's close to where ride height's gonna be. But I don't have wheels and tires on it yet, so. But, you know. That's looking better, right? We took, <laughs> all these we took out. Pretty cool. Still have to take this back out and store it, but you know. Whoops. Yeah, man, that's much better. Oh, look, it's the car that doesn't work. All right. Oh. Just <laughs> forget it, right? <laughs> anyway. Um. So that's kind of what we're we'll going to be looking at. And I want to say thanks to uh, Pete and Jake's. Uh, Jason, you're awesome for, I mean, we talked on the phone for, I don't know, probably half an hour um, as we're trying to figure out what to do here. Um, well, the takeaway we got is this isn't going to work. I just got hit in the head with a fly. It just went, bam. Anyway, we talked for about a half an hour about that and uh, come to the conclusion that uh, if we had a stock frame that this this setup would actually be fine but we have a Bowling Brothers frame and uh, they like their stuff to be low and you know what the whole point of this one is to be low um, so it looks chopped or so it looks channeled because you know I can't do that with with this one, I can't chop and channel it because I won't be able to get in. Even though I'd love to do a little of them. About four inches and about three inches. So it'll be seven inches, right? Four, four, whatever. But hey, we're we're making progress. But by that I mean we gotta stop <laughs> what we're doing and uh do it again. Top rod man, you can't be mad.
I mean, you can be frustrated or whatever, but you know, don't get mad. Don't give up on your projects just because. I mean, look, I should have given up on this like two years ago. It's still here. You know I'm right. But it's definitely better. Now, I could always do, you know, I could take that spring off, maybe put a couple of shorter ones or whatever, but it's still not going to be 100% right. And this ha this car needs to be right because we're, you know, we're going at this from the ground up. So I want this to be the best car I can build uh, with my limited skills and my uh, whatever <laughs> the ideas that I have. Uh, I need to start using the build book from Stacy David too, because you know we need to start figuring this out. What we're gonna do, you know, you know, with our transmission and rear end and frame and chassis and front suspension, rear suspension, brakes. We need to get all that stuff um, figured out. And you know, are we gonna use the drums up here? We got drums back there. I mean, hey, these are drums that are, you know, you know stop your head right off your neck. Yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. I know there's a lot of, but not a lot of, but that's all right. I was going to take Clyde for a ride, but the Asian Beatles have settled in. And uh, if I open that door, there's going to be about 1,700 of them coming right in here. So I need to not do that. Um, but uh, stick around for the next one because more on Creepy, we actually have something to do on Clyde coming up too. And uh, Peyton was going to help me with this. That was the whole plan. However, homework. So if I could get everybody, everybody who watches this one to right now, comment, please do your homework or do your homework or whatever like that. Homework. That's all I need to, that's all I gotta say. Just make those comments, do your homework, get out in the shop, do your homework, homework, homework. Should not listen to me. Please, down there, right, you know, right about here. Oh, that's actually over there. Right about there, start making the comments, do the ping, ping, ping. That's it for now, keep on lunching.